Hey there, guys and gals, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to RimWorld. We're now on episode six, I think. I think we're on episode six. All right, so we just got through that last little battle. We're getting attacked a lot, and I think it's because of all the wealth that we have in our base, but that's okay. We're going to lose a lot of wealth when we, after we move, because all of this stuff, after we dismantle it, of course, we're not going to get as much materials back, so hopefully it'll slow down the battles a little bit while we get sort of recovered over here. So anyway, let's get back to work. <laughs> Oh, biggest. Oh, you, we need to undraft you. We need to get you rested until healed. There you go. And of course, we're going to strip down. These guys are close enough. And we're going to grab all the food too as well. Hey, we get, it's basically free food too as well. So we can't complain too much about that. It's just, yeah, I can still complain. <laughs> my trap, the way, I haven't been building my traps very well either. I did so well in the first one. Sometimes, you know, it's just, it's just, I don't know which direction. See, they come up from the bottom and then they come up from the top and I can't tell. Oh, look, there's a dead fox here. That's missing body parts, so something out here ate it. <laughs> That's fine. I will collect that fox too as well. Oh, Hallie, yeah. Uh, oh, anybody else just sitting there? Where is everybody? So we've got Hallie, Hulu, Her Unlucky, where are you? Unlucky, okay, you're doing something. Consuming berries. Dude, don't consume berries. Just uh, get the berries and come back home, please. There we go, and we're going to put you back on speed three. Hallie, you're doing your thing. You're collecting. You're going to heal up Bigus. Bigus is probably fine. Still have Brio sitting in our prison. <laughs> uh, cargo pods. Ooh, jump to location. <gasps> Marble blocks. Cool. Uh, it's good, but I mean, it's not something I mean. Oh, but it's close to home too as well. So we can use that. Maybe we can use some marble to build walls and stuff to uh, protect ourselves. Like block this all off when we're all set. When, uh, when it's all said and done. Yeah, so or build walls or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out, right? Uh, that's good. You know, marble blocks, you know, I, I'm never super excited when I see blocks land on the ground because eventually you have so much of those, you don't know, to, don't know what to do with them. But at the beginning, they're kind of handy. Uh, marble's one of the tougher, tougher ones too as well. Uh, we're, I guess we'll take, the MP grenades can be really handy when you're fighting uh, alien dudes like uh, caterpillars and stuff like that. Yeah, they can be really, really handy, but uh, not so handy right now. <laughs> EMP grenade, so basically electromagnetic pulse. Anything that's mechanical, it can knock it out. Which is, yeah, like I said, it's really good against, you know, robotic type machines. Like machines that attack you, but not so good against... Is this a better survival rifle? Yes, it is better. You know what? We're going to give that one to... Bygus for now. Uh, let's go gear. Let's drop your pistol. Let's grab this survival rifle. Perfect. Done deal. How's the morale, by the way? <laughs> Morale's probably waning a little bit. No, actually, it's pretty good. It's good. Uh, let's see. Unlucky is a little down just because I think he was out late. He was out late partying and, you know, wandering around, doing his thing. All right. We're almost through the mountain. We're so close now. We're so close. Let's get this one hauled. Oh, come on. Really? You came all the way in. Now you're going to go back and play horseshoes? Come on. At least mine a little bit. Dude. <laughs> Silly guys. It's like he come he comes all the way here and then he's like, no, I want to play horseshoes. Oh, he's getting joy out of doing this right now. That's weird. Why is he getting joy out of digging? I didn't know that I didn't know that was possible. Maybe it's because he thinks he's playing horseshoes because I tricked him. Maybe it's a bug. I think I found a bug. I think he's actually getting joy from digging. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so we're almost through. We're almost through. Okay, and then we can actually set up our zones here. Ha! <sighs> I know, painful. I know, so painful, but fun. I think it was fun. I don't know. Doing something different. Uh, we're going to set this to haul, and uh, we're almost through, so, you know, even if somebody does go around to grab the other stuff, that's fine. Nobody is idle. That's really, really important. And, uh, yeah, we can probably set up, start setting up our zones. <gasps> very, very cool. Ah, so cool. All right, so let's do that. Oh, let's set that to haul. Let's set up a uh, main zone. Uh, how are we going to design things here? We could make use of this divider here. So this is all going to be base. So I think we'll make use of that divider too as well. So what we're going to do, let's start building. Let's put our zones down first. Let's put our stockpile zone. So if we did a nine across, so I think we'll do something like this. So nine by nine, that'll be a good measurement for us too as well. And we're going to get rid of the other stockpile zone. So everything is leaving this, this stockpile zone. Uh, da -da -da, delete. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. We're low on everything now because it's it's not showing that we actually own anything anymore. Hall, and I'm going to set up a second dumping stockpile. We're going to put that... Uh, we'll put that right here for now. That's huge. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, unlucky, what are you doing? You're going to clean blood. How about instead get rid of some of these rocks while we're here? I know. I'm going to use you. I'm going to use you and abuse you a little bit. Come here. Hey, no. I said come here. 
Sometimes they don't respond. They, they're like, no, I don't want to do that. I'm like, no, you're going to do that. Okay, and Halsmore, please. Let's get rid of these rocks in here. That way, uh, moving through this mountain is going to be way easier. Uh, low medicine, need meal source. As long as people are still working. Oh, dude, really? Okay. Seriously, why? Why? Oh, harvesting raspberry bush. Okay, I'll let you go harvest that raspberry bush. That's fine. Uh, Karumi, what are you doing? You're harvesting a raspberry bush. Okay, Hallie is starting to move stuff, but why are you going around? Why, are you, why aren't you going through the mount? That's so weird. Why are you doing that? Oh, maybe she grabbed it from out here, maybe. I don't know. Uh, research. Hydroponics! Yay! Let's go to research screen. Let's get microelectronic basics. That'll give us access to the uh, trade ships, which is important. So, But hydroponics is actually really key for us in this map because uh, we, we need all of the, the food we can get. And right now, I mean, we still have a lot of nutrient paste. We still have 47 nutrient paste. And we are starting to accumulate some of these other things, too, as well, like, like the wolves and stuff. Uh, like, it's just meat, right? Meat, meat and berries. That's all super handy. Uh, we can use those later to make some really, really nice fine meals, which will make everybody super happy. All right, so that's done. Um, let's, Hallie, I want you to... Oh, I see. You're moving that. Okay, good. That's good. That's good. Maybe we should get everybody sort of set up for... No, we'll, we'll, we'll harvest these bushes and stuff, too. I, I like them doing that as well. And, of course, research is really important. Kurumi, what are you doing? Oh, you're cleaning and stuff. I'm not, you know what? Let's not worry about cleaning too much anymore right now. Let's put cleaning back up at three. Let's put hauling back down to two. Nobody's going to be, plant cut is three. So let's do the hauling first, guys. Perfect. You can, hold on. Let's, uh, all right, there we go. Now he's going to go do hauling. And uh, we'll get you to get one bush here. And then we're going to haul. There we go. Like so. Perfect. <laughs> I want them doing the right things right now. Okay, and we need to get all of the uh, the stupid stuff out of here too as well. And another thing we can do is if they are going to clean, let's clean these hallways. I know it sounds silly, but while they're actually traveling through these hallways, they get very, very unhappy because it's cramped and it's dirty. If we clean the dirt, <laughs> I know you'd think like, well, you're going, you're traveling through a cave. You expect it to be dirty, but no, they get, your sense, your, 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 your colonists are very, very sensitive. They do not like, um... If you're traveling through here anyway, grab something. Oh, I guess you did have something. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I really want to get rid of these rocks because that'll speed everything up. So prioritize. Yes. Good. Here comes another one. Unlucky. He's carrying something, I think. Pretty sure. Oh, prioritize. He, see, he didn't listen. Why don't they listen? So weird. Okay, and then... Let him eat. You can prioritize like that. Get rid of that one. And you can get rid of that one. Yay! Getting it all cleaned out. <laughs> uh, planet killer. Yeah, so I'm just making sure everything's okay. It looks like everything's okay. Prioritize. Prioritize. Probably making Kurumi. He's probably super hungry. Ah, uh, yeah, he's pretty hungry. So is Unlucky's okay. We'll, we'll let Unlucky work a little bit longer. We're going to let Kurumi go back. Actually, Kurumi, why don't you go back this way? It's just so much faster. I guess it doesn't matter. Go ahead. Oh, you can eat your food. Yeah. Perfect. So, hello, hello, hello. Unlucky, I want you to collect this last rock. Two more rocks, actually. Nope. Collect the rock, please. There we go. <laughs> Kurumi had a chance to eat, which is great. Perfect. Perfect. We still got Brio sitting here eating our food. Uh, uh, I guess we will strip him down. We'll, no, no, no. Don't strip him down. Cancel that. We're going to clear this stockpile, or this zone here. Delete. We're going to delete this one. And then we're going to try and grab... Uh, we're going to grab the person. So you're, get, you're going home. You're just going to go home and sleep and rest and do all that kind of good stuff. And Unlucky, where are you? Why are they coming around this way? That seems so much further. Like, they got to go all the way around. Why don't they just go through the cave? The big dummies. <laughs> They're so dumb. Why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just go through the cave? Ah, oh, silly, silly, silly people. All right. Uh, speed three. We'll let them rest here. Because it looks like they probably need it. And I think what we're going to do is... Yeah, everybody's set to haul now, except for Bygus, who's still doing research. I think we're better off letting him just continue to do his research. I think, for now, anyway. Yeah, just let him continue to do the research, because we're going to need it all, right? We also need... Uh, we need... Uh, geothermal power, which means we're going to need a high-tech research bench. That's fine. We can build that when we get here. So, yeah... <laughs> Just a lot of stuff to haul. Uh, why is it going that way? That's so weird. It's because he's collecting stuff on this side and then going that way. 
but he could I don't know that seems so inefficient that seems so inefficient <laughs> It seems inefficient what we're doing here. Moving an entire base is ridiculous. Even even though we haven't built that much, moving this entire base is just a ridiculous notion. Why we would do this? Well, I mean, I know why we're doing this. Because, I don't know, I have a vision. I have a dream. Yeah, I'm not the guy to say I have a dream. But, okay, so let's collect uh, this here. Now we're not actually walking on anything when we, on anything when we come through here, uh, pretty much. Let's collect this and let us... Maybe they don't want to walk through here because it's dirty, too. That's possible. So let's clean this out. Like so. Yeah, they should make it so you, if you double-click on, on an open area, it just fills it all in. That'd be kind of handy, actually, for zone making. That'd be pretty cool. So basically, I'm setting up this as home zone. In case you don't know, setting this up as home zone, that way they will actually clean this area out. Ah, now maybe that was the only reason why they weren't using it is because it was... Oh, but now he's going... Oh, I see he's collecting... Oh, I forgot about the Persona cores. Uh, fortunately, they do not degrade when they're just sitting out here. And the multi-analyzer, which is used for research. Uh, but you need the high-tech research bench for the multi-analyzer. Um, in the actual mod that I made for this game, in the in the one that's actually up on the workshop, I changed the multi-analyzer to the... Uh, to the thing, the to the uh, to the vitals monitor to make it easier for you to do your surgeries. Yeah, because uh, this was kind of useless at the beginning of the game. But, you know, so it looks like they're using it now. Right, they're collecting the marble blocks here first. That's fine. Collect everything. That's fine. Take your time. There's no rush because as long as we are doing research, as long as from here on in, we cannot stop doing research because we need to get off this planet. We, we are down to three years and three seasons. It's going to go so super fast. So, yeah, let's get uh, get the marble blocks. Sure. I don't care. Don't care about that, really. Resting. Resting. Okay. Problem is when they're working in tandem like that, they're not efficient. Like you need them almost collecting different things at the same time. All right, unlucky. No, you're good. So everybody, we do we, we all right. Brio was a night hour. If we got Brio, that would be really nice. But uh, Eclipse doesn't matter. <laughs> it's already dark here. It's already dark. It doesn't matter. It's it's not gonna hurt us. Besides, that we're not using solar power at all. By the way, somebody was asking somebody was asking about whether or not these rocks will impede um, impede the work of of this. It doesn't look like it does, and I don't think. It might have, it might have been at one point, I mean, we could remove these, but I don't think it really matters at this point. Either way, uh, for, for future, for future, we'll make sure that there's nothing obstructing it. But usually it used to say that, you know, there's something in the way, if there was something in the way. In other words, if I built this too close to the mountain, it would say there's something in the way. But I don't think rocks count as that now. They, I, I think they did at the beginning. I think you're right, but uh, they don't anymore. So yeah, that's, that's a thing. All right, so that's good. So they are moving stuff. Got the last of those marbles, <laughs> the marbles. <laughs> the marble and uh, we could probably start building some structure out here now too as well we're gonna go speed two and we're gonna start building structure we're gonna make this is going to be a main storage area we're just gonna make it uh like so we're gonna do a can i do auto doors i can't yet okay so we're gonna do like that like that and like that might as well do steel doors on all sides it's going to be two of these. It's going to be another one over here, but I'm not going to worry about the one over there for now. And then we're going to do... Oh, no! Psychic drone! So, every colonist of the female gender winces in pain. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. The projecting It is projecting a, a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the female gender. For a few days, some people's mood will be quite a bit worse. Great. Uh, let's go back down to speed one here. Uh, who is... So we've got... Our two bionic people are, of course, female. <laughs> so the psychic drone causes minus... A minus 15... Oh, no. Minus 15 to their mood, which is going to put her in the danger zone. It's going to put her in her in her major break zone. Oh, and same with Hallie. Yep. And uh, was, what was Unlucky? Was Unlucky a male or a female? I don't even remember. All right. Unlucky... You are our male. Okay, so uh, we don't have to worry about uh, Unlucky or Karumi. They're fine. Uh, man. <laughs> man, that stinks. All right, so we're going to build the rest of our steel wall here. And we're going to start building some bedrooms too as well, but we're going to have to do some mining to go along with that. All right, let's go speed two. I think speed two is a nice, healthy medium. Um, we need to do our main working area, which is going to be in behind all this, I think. Poor mood. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Research! Let's do some more research. Let's go on to gun turrets, because I think that's going to be super important. Gun turrets or stone cutting or auto doors. 
Let's do gun turrets for now. Because I think that'll come in super handy. Okay, so let's go and we're going to do... I'm not going to do our second uh, storage area right now. I'm going to do a, a working area. So like a place where we're going to do research and stuff. And it's going to be, uh, of course, the same size. Uh, these are going to be pretty generic looking rooms, but that's okay. 10. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, so because this... Hold on, let me just work out the measurements here. You don't want to... if A room that's n 9 by 9 won't collapse in on itself. Now, you can do 9 by... 9 by 25 if you want to make it a little bit longer, which is what we're going to do here. So I want to kind of measure that out. So 9, I'm going to make this a little bit longer. This is going to be like a 9 by 15 room. This is going to be our main living area. This like where, where people, all the research is done, where we're going to be having some, some, some uh, manufacturing and stuff in here too as well. So we're going to mine all of this out like so. And if you make a room bigger, like if, it, if this was 10 by 9, uh, the, 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 the roof will collapse in. <laughs> So you have to be really careful with that. All right, so, and we're not going to mine any of this extra stuff out right now. I'm just going to cancel the edge here so they don't work on it. But now I know what, what we have to do. So I will just uh, kind of fill that in a little bit like so. Perfect. Done like that. Excellent. All right, back to work here. So let's, I think what we're also going to do is we're going to do uh, speed two. Speed two. All right, so we're going to put, let's go to structure here. Um, I'm using a lot of steel. I don't know if that's a right choice right now because we're going to need a lot of steel in the end when everything is said and done. And we're, we we do have some other materials that we can use. We do have that marble too as well. But I'm not going to worry about that too much because we're going to start to take use of uh, make use of some more of this uh, mountainous area to help build our walls for us. Um, we need to have a cooking area or sorry, a food storage area, which I think is going to be right here actually. I think that's a, probably a really good place for it. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. And we're going to do, it's going to be an auto door eventually, but I think we'll do steel door for now we'll do it right doesn't really matter and it's gonna be like so and then our cooking area will probably be over here it's usually I like to I like to make a little separate small cooking area so and then our food storage is gonna be here no that's not a good idea food storage is here cooking is here or we do food storage here no I didn't intend on building a grid, by the way. That's not my goal here. I don't normally build like a grid like this. I like big rooms, but I don't normally build a grid like this. Okay, uh, hmm. Interesting. I'm just thinking because if, if they're actually eating in this room, I want to have the food storage actually right beside that room. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to cancel this. Cancel this. Food storage is going to be here. And then we'll cook in this room too as well. Why not? Sure. Sure, we'll, we'll, do, we'll put our butcher table and our cook stove right here, and we're going to store some food in there. Perfect. And how big is that room? I don't know yet. Uh, we'll get there. All right, so what is everybody doing? Everybody is still sleeping and stuff. All right, just waking up, you know, playing a little bit of horseshoes, you know, talking to Brio, feeding him some nutrient paste. <laughs> no wonder he hasn't joined us. He's like, this. the food here stinks. <laughs> Ooh, we're up to 1.2 recruit chance. That's good. 1.2%. <laughs> It'll be, I don't know, a million years before we actually get him recruited. They still haven't cleaned these passageways because I haven't set it up anybody for cleaning yet, but that's okay. So we're starting to build the structure here, but we're still getting everything kind of moved over. So I think what we should do next is actually dig out out a little bit of our food storage area because we're going to be storing our food right here so we'll do like what is that five by five five by five for it five by five room to start and then we've got and then we'll do our storage area so we'll set that up like uh oh oh we knew that was gonna happen oh no that's he's a, he's a male isn't he yeah so one of our male actually unlucky the male is actually unhappy enough to get it he didn't eat why are you not eating Dude, hold on. We still have food, right? <laughs> yeah, we still have food. Why are you not eating? Wow, we're down to 26 food. Crazy. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, we got to think about hydroponics, too, as well. I think we're going to do hydroponics right here. Uh, yeah. <gasps> no! No, 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 no! Biggest tactician is on a fire-starting spree. No! Don't burn it down! No! How do I stop him? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, guys, okay, everybody's gonna have to come and start. Okay, so he's gonna just run around and start fires. So we just we just have to stop the fires. Okay, so that's not as bad. I thought I saw I saw a spree and I saw fire. I saw, oh, I thought I saw fire. I thought maybe he was firing at everybody like he was on a firing spree. But no, he's actually on a fire making spree. <laughs> Look at this, this is amazing. 
So, Kurumi, everyone is going to come in and try to put out these fires. Hopefully. Um, dude, what are you doing? Why are you not trying to put out the fires? Oh, you're hungry. Okay. Uh, this is no time to eat. Where is everybody? Hallie, are you coming in? Beating the fire out. Okay, come on, Hallie. <laughs> Kurumi's eating. He's like, nom nom nom. Eating at the table. Huh, look at that. Everything's on fire. <laughs> um, everybody's in a terrible mood. Fantastic. We've got the psychic drone. Psychic drone. Yep. Psychic drone's still here. Oh, man. If somebody else goes crazy, we're hooped. Uh, okay, we need to actually stop this fire from here. So w w they won't stop the fire unless it's in the home zone. So let's get everybody back here, please. Put out the fire. Come on. Hallie, I need you to come back. Sorry, dude. <laughs> uh, Bygus, Bygus ha and look, Bygus is just sitting there. He's like, what? Oh, she can't put out fires because she's a pyromaniac. Of course. Oh, Kurumi, you're on fire. Okay, stop the fire here, please. Stop the fire from the building. Dude. Dude, dude, the building's on fire. <laughs> not, okay, Biggest will help repair the building, but not actually stop the fire. <laughs> uh, well, that's, hey, look, instant summer. Look at this. <laughs> All that snow's gone. That's good. All right, well, thanks, guys. Uh, anything to slow us down. <laughs> Bugger. All right, Kurumi, uh, what are you doing? Don't go by yourself. No, I mean, don't go without your hands full. Grab something, please. Always grab something. Thank you. We have, uh, we don't have a lot. We've got enough steel probably to get most of these walls up, so that's good. And then we're going to build our hydroponics, and we're going to need a lot of power for that. So let's get our power sorted out too as well. I Actually, I think we're going to use this area here for power. Um, we can do, we can probably fit in a few wind turbines. So uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think of the most efficient way to do this. We could probably fit a wind turbine here okay hold on let's do so we're gonna mine this out I don't know if this will work or not I don't try it I think we can clear I think we can totally clear that out and make that work though I'm pretty sure we're going to clear out all of these this is gonna occupy our guys time that's okay poor mood everybody's in a poor mood right now because of that psychic drone there's really not a lot I can do about it I mean pff, yeah <laughs> Everybody's everybody could potentially break here and we could die. That could be it. It could be all over. And I don't know how these oh the psychic drone's gone. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Wow, look at the mood come back. It, we, we may they may still go crazy. I don't know. Mental break. Yep, so she's hiding in her room. Kurumi Commissar, the commissar, is hiding in his room. Ah, the reason he's tired. Well, why didn't you sleep, dude? Like there's no reason you can't sleep. Moron. <laughs> he wasn't even that tired, it's just Everybody else was so unhappy, he was unhappy, so I don't blame him. All right, whatever. <laughs> um, we could probably take this down. No, we can't yet. So we need to set up our zone here. Let's do that. Uh, we can't. We gotta, we gotta dig that out. All right, let's go speed three. Oh, Unlucky, Unlucky is still out here crazy. Stripping off his clothes. Oh, dude, no, no, don't do that. Oh, look, his, I guess he doesn't need that knife. <laughs> he can't use it anyway. He, is he gonna be crazy? Oh, starvation. Who's starving? Oh, well, you're- he's crazy. If he'd stop being crazy, we could help him, but he's not- he's- he's just gonna continue being crazy. Fantastic. <laughs> Look at him. It's like, I'm so crazy and I don't care. I'm so crazy. He's so crazy that he's starving to death. Uh, now he's- he's actually literally starving to death. Fine. Go ahead. Starve to death. I don't care. I don't really need you. I honestly- you're- Ugh, so frustrating. You're no good in combat. Dude, I hate losing people, though. I could help him. Okay, there we go. He's down. All right, there we go. We can actually go save him now. Bygus, can you go save him, please? Rescue. Actually, bring feed. Or bring feed. Bring food. Bring food with you. There we go. You're going to go feed him. Perfect. <laughs> he, he actually fell down because he's... he's is he high, is he got hypothermia, too, as well? Oh, yeah, he's got hypothermia as well. All right, fantastic. Well, he needs to eat. Let's go speed one, speed one, speed one. There we go. <laughs> I'm getting used to traveling, you know, working at uh, speed three. I mean, it's intense, but I'm getting used to it. Okay, so we're dragging him off. Perfect. <laughs> Bring him home. He's in rough shape. He's got frostbite all over his hands and toes. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's go. Speed two. We'll stay speed two. That's that's a nice, a nice compromise, I think. Trying to avoid speed three, but I, I can't help myself sometimes. I really, I'm actually enjoying the pace. I think it's very different from how I usually play. I usually play at speed one or speed two tops, but generally speed one. 
which is like, wow, that's insane, you know? Okay, let's make sure, is he already healed up? Wow, you guys are quick. No, he's not healed up. Vigus, why are you not healing him? Heal him, please. There we go. Heal, heal, heal. There we go. No longer capable of, he's no longer capable of walking because he's got such bad, because he's got such, because he's got such bad uh, hypothermia and of course frostbite. <laughs> his little toes, his middle, his left middle finger, his left pinky, his left right, his right, right ring finger and his nose, his nose was gonna come off. Wow, we're getting, wow, good results for, without using any medicine at all. So I would say that bionics, having bionic eyes and bionic arms, or maybe it's the bionics eyes is helping with uh, treatment of medicine too as well. That's pretty cool. I like that, neat stuff. Okay, so everybody is still dragging everything over. We're getting close though now. We're almost all cleaned out here. Oh, we need to get rid of this zone. Get rid of this one. We're gonna get rid of this one now. Delete, and it's gonna say low food. Yeah, it's we don't actually have low food. Um, we need to pl have a place for our guys to sleep too as well. I think we're just gonna set up the beds in here for the time being. So as soon as as soon as we're capable, uh, we're able to do it. Oh, we're almost out of time. I was hoping to get a couple more things done today, but you know the drone and everything else is always something. <laughs> There's always something in this game. There's always something to cause all sorts of trouble. Ah, 2.2%, that's good. <laughs> we also have to get a prisoner moved, which means we have to have a prisoner room before we actually do the move. And I think we're gonna do rooms like right in here. We're gonna have to cut them out though. Yeah. Breakdown, battery, uh, not good timing because I was kind of hoping to move these batteries intact. So one of the batteries broke down, which means uh, it just, it's unusable and it has to be repaired and uh, we lost all the charge out of it. Not a big deal, but you know, another, another thing, another brick. <laughs> All right, so that is gonna be, uh, okay, good. So we're getting that done. We need to actually start building here too as well. Yeah, we do need to get all those rocks moved, but is that a total super big priority? Let's cancel that. I'll get these ones moved because I wanna I wanna see if we can make that windmill work uh, over here, uh, which I think we can. I think we won't have a problem. Ooh, cargo pods, that's good. Uh, more blocks, really? More granite? Uh, I mean, that's good. It's building material, but is it really what we need right now? Not really, <laughs> not at all, actually. Ah, uh, okay. I think what we'll do is we'll build some rooms. We'll we'll give them uh, we'll give them marble walls or granite walls, and of course flooring too as well, which they'll like. So let's plan this out a little bit. Let's actually go to our planning mode here, and we'll go speed one. I I know we're out of time. I totally know we're out of time, but uh, I got to do this. So we're gonna do our rooms. I think we'll do our rooms like right across here. So we're gonna do we'll do them. Ah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think we'll do them five by five. I think that's probably the best choice. So if we did five, and then we're gonna do a space one, two, three, like so, five by five. And then we're gonna go in like this. Whoops, ah! <laughs> now, this is risky because now insects can attack you underground, but insects have, have this insect jelly, which is actually another source of food, as long as we can manage it. It's gonna be tough to manage it. We do have a pyromaniac, maybe we can burn him. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But insects, they have this uh, jelly, which is really awesome. But it's just, you know, the insects are like brutal. <laughs> They're insanely brutal. So this is kind of what I had in mind. And then have a hallway coming down and we'll have doors going in like so. Whoa, that first room is a little big. That's fine. We'll use that first room for uh, special, for for uh, uh, prison too as well. And actually we'll go, you know what? Hmm. You know what? I think we're actually gonna move it just one more over and then we're gonna call it an episode. I th I'm just trying to think of how we're gonna do this. I, th I think I want a hallway going this way, like so. And then we're gonna do the rooms like this, five by five. Five by five. I like sets of three, because then you can have the heater in the center, and then have the vents on the side. So you can have vent, 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 and then entrance like so, entrance, entrance, and then the hallway like that. And this way, because we have the hallway here, we can actually expand out and we can actually connect to other things. We maybe do another block of rooms underground too as well. We're gonna be doing a lot of digging underground. I know that and that's super risky, but uh, I think it's gonna be really fun. Okay, so we're gonna get that sorted next time. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this series. We have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. At least I hope we have a long way to go. We could die. We could die in an instant. We've come close already. <laughs> anyway, guys, take care. Talk to you soon.